What's going on guys, it's Quinn bringing you another video, and today I'm going to tell you guys a funny story. So, um, basically what happened is, I went to a haunted house for my first time ever, like a real haunted house, that it was called the 13 Levels of Fear, and uh, I thought it was going to be scary as fuck, but I'll get to that in a second. So, I went with a girl, my friend, and like his, his like girlfriend, so we go in, and we're, as we're walking up to get our tickets, they're like guys dressed up in costumes, and they come up and start like growling at the girl that I was with and she was like freaking out she's like clinging on to me or whatever because you know I'm such a manly man I had to protect the ladies just kidding <laughs> so she's like clinging on to me as we're getting our tickets these guys are like snarling in my ear and like I don't know it was retarded so we go to like the walk through the first part and it's like it's like a gateway and there's like a spinning like drum around and it's painted all these different colors so when you walk in you feel like you're turning with the thing and it's weird, like, you're, like, it feels like you're walking upside down, so, we are, like, walking in, and I, like, run through quick, because, like, I don't know, there's a guy sitting in there, I didn't want to get grabbed or anything, so I, uh, I run straight through, and the two girls come out behind me, and my friend is in there for, like, another minute, we we're, like, what the fuck, I thought he was trying to, like, juke the guy out so he wouldn't touch him, and, like, he, like, jumps out, like, through the curtains, and the lady, like, at the end, like, jumped out and scared him, and he goes, yo, chill, and she's, like, dude, you're at a haunted house, calm down. Like, I don't know, that was, was tripping him out. So we go through the first house, and, you know, the girl's clinging on me because she's scared or whatever, because you know how I am, I'm a stud. So we're walking through, we do that, do the first couple houses, and it's just, it's alright. And then we get to this one where we had to put on these 3D glasses, and we walk in this room, and there's like a black light and all these dots. And little did I know, there was this girl in the corner with like, who was dressed up in black that had the same pa pattern dots that the wall did, so I didn't see her. I walk in, we sit in there for like 30 seconds, and nobody saw her. She jumps out and scares the living shit out of me. And I just like jump, I'm so nervous, I, I don't know. And then like, I did not see her at all. It was probably the coolest thing I've ever seen. I didn't see her, nobody saw her. And uh, let's see, there was another one. It was like a zombie one. So you'd walk through these like tarp like walls and there would be zombies coming in and there was just one guy who was crawling and we were walking past him and he grabbed my ankle and I out of like pure reaction I go yo man watch the Jays <laughs> and my friend starts busted up cracking cracking up the girls we were with did not think it was funny at all for some reason I don't know their sense of humor just isn't like the same as mine or my friend so we're cracking up laughing and we're like getting our tickets marked saying that we gone through that house and one of the zombies sneezes, and my friend goes, God bless you, and he just goes, thank you, sir. It was, I don't know, it was so funny, because they're not really supposed to talk to anybody. So that was really funny, and, um, what else happened? There was this one called Purple Haze, where you walk in, and there's this heavy-ass metal music just blasting. There's strobe lights everywhere, everywhere. They wanted to fucking kill every epileptic that was in that park, like, I swear. That was the one that was going to kill you if you were an epileptic. So we walk in, there's strobe lights. I thought I was gonna have a seizure myself, I swear. And there's like, the gate, like there's like a gate, um, like walkway, and on the other side of the gate, there are like people pounding, telling us to like get out, never come back, like get all the cheesy ghost shit. And like, I don't know, I, was, I swear, I came out and I did not know what was going on. And ah, the shoes, I had like some pretty nice shoes on because my shoe game is always on point. And we get to the end and there's like soap bubbles and I stand there, I'm like, fuck no and I like ran through as fast as I could I kind of like left the girl there because I did not want to get my shoes wet I run through jump out and I jump and stomp both my feet trying to get all the bubbles off and I come out and like my friend went ahead of me so I come out and he looks at my shoes and I look at his shoes and we were like fuck dude because we both had really nice shoes on some Nike flights some J's like I don't know they were just they were just nice shoes and I was pissed about that and then there was another one it was like a cabin in the woods thing and the two girls went ahead, and then me and my friend went together. We didn't like cling on to each other or any gay shit like that. But we went down, we went through, and they were like really weird ways. Like I don't know, I couldn't see, so there was like flaps everywhere, and I'm like swinging my hands trying to like hit somebody. I was uh, sorry, excuse me, I wasn't trying to hit somebody, but I was just checking if anybody was there, swinging my arms trying to like see what's going on. And eventually, we get to these two huge airbags that are pushed together, and I thought it was a dead end. I'm like, dude, we have to go back. We must have missed a turn. And like the guy who like who was running it was came with us and he's like just pushed through so we had to like squeeze through these airbags that were like pushed together it was, I don't know it was a really cool experience it was fun and then the very last thing we're like walking out 
and these clowns just come out with chainsaws and like of course they had the chain off so they come and they're like making sparks by our feet and the one hit my friends like he had like tan pants like really nice pants and he hit his pants and he goes oh dude and he checks his pants to see if there's an oil mark or something it was just he completely killed the halloween vibe i was cracking up it was hilarious i don't know the, the clowns were so salty they're like oh dude my bad i didn't mean to get oil in your pants but i don't know it was just funny so um yeah i don't know the hunting house was all right it was in conneaut lake if you know i don't know you probably don't know where that is it's like supposed to be a world famous like thing tickets were 25 fucking dollars to get the like and like ah, that pissed me off and then we uh, supposedly the hotel was haunted so we walk up in the hotel and i'm like tripping balls i'm like dude that if this place is haunted and there's people jumping out i'm gonna swear like i'm gonna like hit somebody or something and like something's clicked in my brain where i was completely like desensitized to noise or anything and every time somebody jumped out i just looked at them and kept walking like i did not give a single fuck so i'm walking through they're like the only one that scared me was in the hotel and um come to a hallway it's like a really dark hallway we get to the end and i see a curtain and i thought i was supposed to push through it so i touched the curtain the guy behind it he like as he opens the curtain this blinding light comes out from behind the curtain and this air blast just hits me and it's so loud and that that's the only thing that scared me uh, that's the only thing that made me like tense up or anything and i thought i was going to be scared because i don't do scary movies or anything like that and uh yeah that was that was not i mean it was it was fun or whatever i got to hang out with that the girl that i liked so that was cool so um yeah thank you guys for watching i hope you like this little story telling you about a haunted house uh, i hope you thought it was enjoyable fun or whatever so thank you guys for watching subscribe to this channel and subscribe to my channel link down in the description below and uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching just bad down don't even know me tell me i'm a dog like Odie, and i only fuck with crazy girls think i'm home like i'm brody made her come